<laughs> um, no, I didn't say anything, but um, obviously, again, my team put me in such great positions to be able to finish um, two goals today, and I thought the team played really, really well today. We're really happy with our performance, and obviously just continuing to push from here on out um, as best as we can, and we're really happy with the win, and um, we're really excited. And again, I'm thankful to um, be a part of that. Compared to a lot of your opponents, you guys have a lot of continuity even through the World Cup, seven more lineups. Are, are we seeing that in your guys' rhythm? It just means you guys are a little bit more in tune with each other than some of these other teams have been there. Yeah, I mean, I think the staff does such a great job at um, explaining to us tactically what's expected of us in certain positions. Um, and we all work hard because we enjoy each other. We enjoy each other off the field. We enjoy each other on the field. Um, and we, the club does such a great job at creating a positive environment for all of us to perform in. Um, and I think that we're doing today. Um, we did a great job. It seems like you guys have a lot of freedom, too, from Laura to just kind of express yourself and try different things. Is that part of your guys' sort of motto, I guess, too, to just sort of have the freedom to try these different things? Um, I think in a sense. Um, but like I said, it's, it's just such a great explanation of what's expected of us. Um, there's a complete, clear understanding um, and just the work rate is phenomenal from the players. We want to work for each other. We care about each other. Um, and we care about this team and this organization. Um, coming right out of the break, when was the last time you had a situation where you pulled out like a four-minute race right out of the, the gate of a, of a half? Ooh. That's how you score. Um, yeah, no, I um, was really excited <laughs> um, to be able to, to come out and just kind of shock them. Um, and then um, to have a second one, I was kind of like, wow. <laughs> Obviously, um, Kim Little's ball into me was ridiculous. Um, as soon as I saw her on the ball, I just make her run every time. Because <laughs> I know she's going to put it right where I'm running into. Um, and then Pino just put an uh, amazing ball on the ground. Um, she saw me as soon as she picked her head up and we made eye contact. I knew to just go towards the goal. Um, so being able to put two quick ones away and kind of set the tone for second half was a big deal for us. Um, and again, I'm just thankful um, that I was in the spot and had the opportunity to put those goals away for the team. And again, they create those opportunities for me. Um, and I'm really excited to be a part of this team, as I always am. <laughs> No, I think we kind of knew in the first half we were playing, but not to what we wanted it to look like. Um, and so we kind of came in, we kind of organized it, um, and we came back out with some fire, just in the sense of we want to put this game away as early as possible. Um, and so we did our best. And again, we come out with the shutout and the 3 0 win, and we're really, really happy about it. A lot of teams talk about uh, playing the hot hand. Um, a lot of players also talk about being in the zone. Do you experience that? If so, what's that like? Yeah, um, I never try and focus on scoring goals, as weird as that sounds. Um, I always just try and focus on what I can do for the team as a whole to put myself in good positions to be able to connect passes with players and to create space for other players. Um, I found in the past that when I focus on scoring, um, I never score. <laughs> so it's just the work rate um, defensively to gain confidence offensively um, and then just having that mindset when you're in and around the goal um, that this team is just phenomenal from top to bottom um, and they play such wonderful balls in the box. So, Are you aware that 14 of the 20 home goals have come within the 46 or 73 minutes? No. And if so, uh, <laughs> there it is. That's interesting. Um, and, uh, so yeah, I mean, just talking about coming out at, at Um, no, not necessarily, just depending on the game and depending on the team. Um, but I think as a whole, we, we know what we're capable of doing as a team. And so when we fall short of that, we come in at halftime, we gather, you know, we get our things together and we're kind of like, okay, here's what we need to do. Um, then we are able to assess and address those issues and then come out and then um, just bring as much fire as possible. So. Is there anything that Laura said in the room between the halves 
about tightening that up or, or what strategically she saw? Um, no, not necessarily. It was just um, we just discussed what we thought we could be better at um, from the first half going into the second half. Um, obviously, getting up for the 50-50 challenges and winning the second um, ball is obviously always a focus of ours. Um,